So this is today's outfit. We've just paid for the entire bottle. What a treat. And we're in. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. So today, as you can see, ready and raring to leave the house. Today we are actually heading into London and I am so excited to go to London today. It was for my birthday or Christmas. It might have been birthday Christmas just gone actually. Callum actually booked us in to go see Frozen in London. Um, it was cancelled, it's been postponed. And today we are actually able to go, which is fabulous. So we are heading in now. It's just gone nine o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna drive up to the station, head in. We're gonna try find some places to have a couple drinks before the show. Then we're gonna go see Frozen and then we're gonna go for food after. So I thought that I would just vlog the day because I am loving at the minute getting ready getting dolled up planning an outfit and then going out and just having the best time um i didn't realize that i'd actually missed doing this type of thing this much but i definitely have um so yeah i'll do a quick little outfit of the day i just need to move these coat hangers and then we will hit the road okay so this is today's outfit i have I basically love green if you couldn't tell and um, so underneath I have got on this little cut out top from Zara it was literally like it's one of those ones that's less than £10 I think it was like 7 99 Um, probably could have done with a size smaller because it falls down here quite a bit but it's a nice little comfortable black piece to go on and then I've got these little shorts on that I got in the sale in H&M I did iron these I just want to point that out and um, they are just the type of shorts that crease very quickly they're not quite exactly a perfect match for green but they work underneath um because i don't plan on wearing my blazer like that um then i've got this gorgeous blazer on which is from misguided and it's got pockets which is just essential and ideal then i've got this little bag which is from Shein, and then to bring the black back i've just popped on my little Lindsay's, and i've got my legs out it is overcast like everywhere at the minute um with like little bits of drizzle and and things but today's meant to get to like 23 degrees so i actually think that this is quite a good outfit because i can take the blazer off if needs be in the tubes um but then it's also quite like do you know what i mean um it's not too summery it's not too autumnal i'm just really excited i'm really excited this is my little mini one <laughs> nice yeah we're venturing on to the next part of our journey. Have you got your wine guns? We just popped into Boots and got some Gaviscon because I can never go without. I think Callum got his wine gums. There they are. nearly gone. Which are nearly gone. Circle, Paris, Mission, Enjoy this. Thank you. Gordon's gin. No. I can't believe that. We've just paid for the entire bottle. Gordon's gin, flat lemonade. We've just paid. Can anyone, in fact, can anyone in the comments guess how much we've just paid for two single pink gin and lemonades in a plastic cup in a pop-up shop in, in the Gordon's middle of Covent gin. Garden? You can see the Gordon's up there, so it's Gordon's gin, not even posh gin. It's not even Brockman's. No, it's not even posh gin, it's just Gordon's gin. Do you want to tell them how much it costs? 14 quid from Tesco's. Go for it. Single. <laughs> Single. Twenty-four pounds. Twelve pounds each. <laughs> to think. <laughs> Can't even believe that. Ridiculous. Birthday, Cheers. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Last year. Yeah. Happy birthday last year. Thank you. To be fair, Tesco. Quite nice. Birthday, thanks. <laughs> my family chart i've just sent a picture and i've just said guess the price two times single pink gin lemonade gordon's let's see the price that come through this is from a northern household everyone this is where reality really hits right guys the first result is in my mum said 16 pound for both so my brother's just said 12 pound 50 i said for both or for each and he said both and then i've sent a picture of callum's monzo price come through and i said top figure for both so if I said each, I'd have been bang on. Where you at? That's a joke. <laughs> it's beautiful. 
beautiful little theatre though, it's been done up, look there's a little frozen state at the back. Stalls, which one though? So the theatre has been done up completely, look how lush this bar is. We're going to get ourselves a nice little beverage. Have they got Brockman's? I can see Pessoa. That's more on our level, we just went to another bar and it's like a champagne. Oh, speaking of champagne. We've just got a little a little drink in the theatre. Callum, how much was it? £27. £27. So if we thought £24.95 was bad, £27. We were waiting for the contact list to come up and we just went, it's worse. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, they didn't have the best range, but... Um, well, no, no, but I said like some sort of berry gin. It's all they have, like anything like that. The only gin they had was either rhubarb or rhubarb and Bromley apple. So we went for rhubarb and Bromley apple. Um, because the only other option was like a champagne bar or wine. And we're in, look how brilliant that looks. Can are you ready to sing along? Erin Taylor. The snow blows, I'm so gonna sing along. Well, they, <laughs> they probably don't want you to sing along because it's not a sing-along show, but I'm gonna. Beautiful, beautiful. And we've got our little program here. Gonna have a little look through in a second, see who's performing. We are now heading into the Ivy. Love it for us. What a treat. Did you go through the main doors? Wow, 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 wow. That's a lemon to squeeze. Leave it in the bag so it catches the seeds. Look at that. A little fish cake there with Callum's got chicken. Definitely going to be sharing. Look at them chips as well. Boom. Final round. Look at that creme brulee. Look at that. What's it like? Lovely. Huh? I think you're famous. No, I don't want <laughs> Callum's trying to get me to fucking public and I can't do it. Just do it, you shit. You can't. You can't do it. Huh? You've got to do it at some point. I know. I know. I just need to build up confidence. We're just waiting to be picked up now. How did you find Frozen? We never got to speak about it because we went straight for food. Very good. I think it was a top musical, personally. Um, if you get the chance to see it, go and see it. If you can appreciate some good vocals. And it was really funny as well. It was very funny. Did give the laughs and food was gorgeous. I feel stuffed. I can't wait for a sleep, a nap. Home, shower, PJs, bed. Oh dear me, right we're finally back home, what a day, I'm actually shattered, it's like hit me now how long we've been out for and Frozen was brilliant, oh I just absolutely loved it, love a musical um, and then we went to the Ivy as you saw, again wonderful, food was delicious, I did film them clips on my phone because I was just a little bit conscious that you know it's quite nice in there and there was lots of people and it was quite packed and I didn't want people to think that I'm, I was like getting a camera out and they would be in it and things like that. Um, but yeah, it was so yummy and I'm ready to now just have a shower, take my makeup off and get into bed and go to sleep because I'm so shattered. So, if you did enjoy this little London vlog, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel down below and I will be back soon with another video. Bye!